the four-hour workweek, Escape 9 to 5, Live Anywhere, and Join the New Rich, written by Timothy Ferris, is a seminal guidebook that has dramatically transformed the way people think about work, lifestyle design, and personal efficiency. In this summarized AI-powered summary, we'll explore the key concepts, insights, and analysis of this New York Times best-selling book. We highly encourage you purchase it, of which you can find in the link down below. Also, subscribe to our channel for more AI-powered book summaries delivered every week. Now, let's begin. Introduction Tim Ferriss's book is not about working four hours per week literally, but about maximizing productivity and leveraging time more effectively. It's about escaping the traditional 9-to-5 job and creating a lifestyle that allows for more freedom and flexibility. Ferris argues that by eliminating waste and applying Pareto's 80-20 principle, you can achieve more with less time. The Deal Strategy At the core of the 4-hour workweek is the deal strategy, definition, elimination, automation, and liberation. Definition, the first step is to redefine the rules and expectations of work and lifestyle. Ferris promotes the idea of being part of the new rich and are people who abandon traditional career paths and prioritize mobility, time, and experience over material wealth. They seek relative income, which values both money and time, over absolute income, which is purely monetary. Elimination, the second step is about productivity and time management. Ferris applies the Pareto Principle, or the 80-20 rule, which states that 80% of outputs come from 20% of inputs. He suggests identifying and focusing on the 20% of tasks that produce 80% of desired outcomes. The objective is to eliminate unproductive activities. He also introduces the concept of low-information diet, which involves limiting the consumption of non-essential and time-consuming information. Automation, this step involves creating automated income streams that require minimal ongoing effort. Ferris introduces the idea of creating a muse, a low-maintenance business that generates significant income. He also advocates for outsourcing life tasks to virtual assistants to gain more personal time. Liberation, the final step is about embracing remote work and geo-arbitrage, taking advantage of living in an area with a lower cost of living while earning in a stronger currency. Liberation is about having the freedom to work from anywhere and designing an ideal lifestyle. Practical Strategies Throughout the book, Ferris provides practical strategies to implement the deal framework. Time management, Ferris advocates for the practice of time blocking and batching, grouping similar tasks together to improve focus and efficiency. He also emphasizes the importance of limiting interruptions, delegating tasks, and avoiding meetings unless absolutely necessary. Negotiating remote work, Ferris provides a blueprint for negotiating remote work arrangements with employers. This involves demonstrating the benefits of remote work to the employer and gradually increasing the time spent working remotely. Creating a muse, Ferris outlines the process of testing, launching, and automating an online business. He covers product development, marketing, and operations, emphasizing the importance of testing the market before investing heavily in a new product or service. Outsourcing, Ferris shares strategies for hiring and managing virtual assistants, including where to find them, how to communicate effectively, and how to delegate tasks. Travel, Ferris offers advice on how to travel the world without breaking the bank, leveraging currency differences, finding cheap flights and accommodations, and living like a local. Critique and Commentary The four-hour workweek is both revolutionary and controversial. While many have found success applying Ferris's principles, others argue that his strategies are not universally applicable and may overlook important aspects of work and life. Ferris's concepts have greatly influenced the digital nomad movement and the shift towards remote work. His ideas have empowered individuals to challenge the traditional work paradigm and explore alternative lifestyle designs. Critics, however, argue that the book oversimplifies complex processes like starting and automating a successful business and that the level of income and freedom Ferris promises may not be attainable for everyone. 
It's also pointed out that outsourcing tasks to low-wage countries might contribute to global economic disparities. Further, the book is often accused of promoting a lifestyle that emphasizes individual gain and pleasure without addressing broader social responsibilities and connections. The quest for personal freedom and efficiency, some critics suggest, may overlook the intrinsic value of work and the sense of purpose and community it can provide. Conclusion The four-hour workweek is more than just a book about working less. It's a manifesto that challenges conventional wisdom about work, wealth, and lifestyle. The book's core message is about creating freedom of time and place and making life a series of experiences. The book doesn't provide a one-size-fits-all blueprint but serves as a catalyst to think differently about work, income, and lifestyle. Whether one agrees with Ferris's strategies or not, the four-hour workweek undeniably sparks a conversation about how we value our time and the possibilities for designing our lives outside of traditional norms. Tim Ferriss's The 4-Hour Workweek continues to be a source of inspiration for those seeking to escape the 9-to-5 grind, embrace the digital age, and redefine what it means to live richly. Even for those not fully on board with all of its principles, the book provides a trove of tips and strategies on productivity, time management, and lifestyle design that can be tailored to individual needs and aspirations. This ends our AI summary of The 4-Hour Workweek. What are your thoughts on this book and its concepts? Write your feedback in the comments below. Also, if there's any specific book you'd like to see summarized on our channel, tell us in the comments and you just might see it in a future video. Until next time.